Spring Up Conference here in Birmingham, Birmingham in England. Every road leads to Birmingham in England for the Spring Up Conference with God's own servant, Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, all the way from Tulsa in Oklahoma in the United States of America. Aren't you happy hearing that name coming to Birmingham, Birmingham, England, Birmingham, England? Rejoice because it's your time. The following program has been brought to you by Sammy Joseph Ministries. And now for his message today, here is Reverend Sammy. Hello there and welcome to this very interesting episode of Harvest Ways with Sammy Joseph. I am your host, Dr. Sammy Joseph, We're asking you like I usually do to call your friends and neighbors and fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters and uncles and nieces and nephews and aunts and uh, cousins, uh, wherever they are, friends and even foes. <laughs> Why are you calling your foes? Because we want them to have an opportunity to hear the gospel. We want to make sure that we give them a fair chance uh, that they can uh, make up their minds for the Lord Jesus Christ. We don't want to go to heaven alone. We want to make sure that we bring as many people as possible with us. Isn't that what the devil tries to do also? Inviting people to pot houses and pub houses and uh, uh, large rooms and uh, uh, places where they rock and roll and rock till you die and smoke and and fight and kill and all that sort of things. Isn't that what they do? And that's why we're giving you this opportunity also to make sure that you call your friends and neighbors and just, you know, I'm taking the time easy on you because I want as many people as possible, like the Word of God says, there is the will of our Lord Jesus Christ, not willing that any shall perish, but all shall come to repentance. Will of our Lord Jesus Christ is that many, many should come to the light of the gospel in Christ Jesus. I am so grateful to be your host again today on this Harvest Ways with Sammy Joseph and this is going to be very interesting today because I've got a great things lined up for you to the glory of God the Father. First and foremost by the grace of God. In this month of March uh, we have Spring Up Conference here in Birmingham, Birmingham in England. Every road leads to Birmingham in England for the Spring Up Conference with God's own servant, Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, all the way from Tulsa in Oklahoma in the United States of America. Aren't you happy hearing that name coming to Birmingham, Birmingham, England, Birmingham, England? Rejoice because it's your time. It's your time, like the Word of God says in Amos in chapter 3 and verse 19, that the day is come. And these are the days that a plowman will be overtaking them that are sowing uh, uh, or reaping. And the treader of grapes, him that is sowing. And the mountains will have to melt and the hills will bring forth sweet wine. So that God can plant us right in our land, in this land. Make us explode, make us grow to the glory of the Lord God Almighty. That the children of wickedness will not again be able to uproot us or you know kick us here and there and send us helter skelter looking for help because i will lift up my eyes to the heavens the bible says whenceforth cometh my help my help comes from god that created heavens and earth it's time for us right here in birmingham in england to host god's own servant one of the very finest generals of our time a teacher of god's word a healing evangelist of of, of our time, gone across all the world preaching the gospel. The, I don't see, I don't want to talk too much about this servant of God. You All you got to do is just let your curiosity meet the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to say curiosity kills the cat. The curiosity of God's word is going to meet the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And when curiosity meets the anointing, boom, something great happens. I am expecting God, as he has told me, uh, to do during this time that is going to lift men up and people are going to be springing for joy having you know joyous uh, occasions in their lives and miracles are going to happen so wherever you are in Birmingham in England or the West Midlands or even in England or the entire UK 
make your way right to uh, Northfield, right here in Holloway Hall, in Northfield, Birmingham, B31. 1TT. If you are yet to register, make sure you are registered. You can text us right to plus 447758195466. Again, it's the number showing under the screen. It's plus 447758195466. Or you can actually log on to our website. It's www.harvestways.org and, and text register me and then text your name and how many people, how many seats you are waiting for us to reserve for you. And that's exactly what we are going to do by the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for many of you that have been texting, you know, uh, sharing with us that you are bringing your friends and families. <laughs> we, we just cannot wait to see what God uh, is about to unleash on our lives. The anointing is going to be real. The power of God is going to be real at Spring Up Conference 2016 here in Birmingham in England. And the funniest thing of all is, it's interdenominational. Jesus is willing to heal and save and lift as many people as possible up all across the whole of Birmingham and West Midlands and England with Dr. Siddiqui, Nasser Siddiqui, right here, March 15 and 16. March 15, 16. Time is 7 o'clock p.m every night. Also, we have right here uh, with us uh, in uh, posting, one of the postings that we made right there in January, January 6th. And if you're following us on Facebook, you will find this right there on the Facebook. January 6, 2016. It says, blood cancer is healed. Medical doctor just can't find it at examination. Uh, Dear Sammy Joseph Ministries, I live with my husband in Dallas, Texas, and my mom is in Missouri. On Christmas Day, I was awoken by the distraught voice of a familiar long distance caller. Barely audible, she moaned amongst heavy sobs, pray for me, I don't want to die. I've been diagnosed with blood cancer. It was then I realized my mother's voice. My thoughts were confused. I wasn't myself. This was the instant the Holy Spirit had instructed me to write you and request prayer and a special wish that Dr. Sammy Joseph will personally call my mom to the number I'd left at the bottom of my note. By the next day, when I had dialed her to inquire of her goings on, her voice had brightened. She had reported, one Dr. Sammy Joseph from Birmingham in England had called me at your request and had violently rebuked the blood cancer. Today, now listen to this, today I have a report from my mom's doctor. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful that, that the doctors on earth can write a report and Jesus, the doctor in heaven, the great physician, can write his own report. Now listen to this. Today I have a report from my mom's doctor that there are no traces of blood cancer again. They just couldn't find it at our medical appointment. They are confused, but we know Dr. Jesus had stepped in and healed my mother. Thank you, Jesus. This is indeed a great way to start the year. Written in by Mrs. Steps, Steph from Dallas in Texas in USA. Isn't that wonderful that Jesus can heal every kind of situation, every kind of uh, uh, condition, every kind of confusion, every kind of uh, blood ailment, every kind of body ailment, any kind of uh, fiscal ailment, financial ailment, social ailment, spiritual ailment. Glory to the name of the Lord. At the word of your command or at the command of your word, we will let down the net and we will reach out by the power of the Holy Spirit you know, and our nets are going to break for miracles in this year. This is the year that God will bring outstanding, outlandish miracles to come to pass in our lives. We are expecting you again. It's March 15 and 16, 2016, right here in Birmingham at the Spring Up Conference with Dr. Nasser Siddiqui, all the way from Tulsa in Oklahoma in the United States of America. We are excited. We are stoked up by the power of the Holy Spirit. Miracles are going to happen. 
I cannot wait to see what God is about to do in our season in this time. Let's go before God in prayer for today's teaching. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask you, Lord, that miracles still. I am hearing right now in my spirit that the Holy Spirit wants to heal many more people. <laughs> wants to heal many more people. Lord, I'm asking you today to let the anointing for healing be released today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the anointing for miracles go with these words today. I pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. God's people say, Amen to the glory of God the Father. Now, the way it's going to happen today is that as I begin to speak the word of God, and if the Holy Spirit ministers your name to me, I'm going to call your name. If the Lord ministers to me to say a word about your condition, I'm going to say the same. So you listen to what the Holy Spirit is about to say today. And I'm going to teach you very quickly about the uh, blessedness of steadfastness in your life. Blessedness of steadfastness in your life. What steadfastness will do for you? Uh, only God can tell. Now let's try to explore uh, as far as we can within a time uh, limit requirement that we have today and see what God will do with us. Acts of the Apostles, if you go your Bible after in my Bible right there to Acts of the Apostles, and chapter 14, and I read from verse 1. I read verses 1 to 11. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, and verses 1 to 11. And it came to pass in Iconium that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews, and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also of Greeks, believed. A great multitude believed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected against their brethren. In other words, they went, nya, 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 by talk, side talk, back talk, backstabbing. They began to go, nya, 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 nya. This year, I am talking to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. If you want to reap the benefits of steadfastness in your life, you need to do away with Nya, 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 nya. Back talk, side talk, <laughs> uh, uh, back talk, backstab, backstabbing. You got to do away with it. See, your miracle is already happening right now because the word of knowledge is coming out. You will have to do away with nya, 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 nya. Sometimes it's not even just, you know, uh, nya, 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 nya by word of mouth that we do these days. Uh, that you, I don't, that you sometimes do in our world today. Sometimes your fingers are doing the talking on the social media and the things that you post and the things that you write in there. And these things can really get you in trouble. The Holy Spirit is making me clear, making it clear to you right now for me to warn to you as a prophet of God that the backstabbing, the back talking, the reposting of things, of gossips will delay your blessing. You're not going to be steadfast that way. Now, so they began the unbelieving Jews, and see, that's what happened. The unbelieving Jews, they are Jews, but they are unbelievers. You're in the church, but you're an unbeliever. You're in the church, you even say that you're born again, but you are doubting. You're a doubting Thomas. You say you're in the church, you're born again, but you know what I'm saying? That you are operating in unbelief. You are the unbelieving Jews that we're talking about right here. You are going to be robbing yourself of the blessings that God wants to give you this year if you will not stop. I'm saying this as a prophet of God under the unction of the Holy Spirit so that you may be healed, so that you may be blessed. I'm hearing the word of God saying to me right now that somebody has got some gangrene in their left foot and this situation is happening because of the nya 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 the backstabbing that you are doing. That's why the devil is stabbing you in your left foot. If you decide to operate your faith with mine today and repent, I'm going to release my faith to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ for total healing. If you're the one hearing this word right now and you want to be healed of the gangrene in your left foot, and you say to the Holy Spirit, I am ready to stop the nya, 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 Tap, 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 enter. All the jibes, all the uh, connivings, all the backstabbing, all the sidestabbings, all the reposting of words that you're not meant to repost, uh, your healing is going to be released right now. Right now, as a prophet of God, 
I am not joking with you. It's time for your healing. And so if you are the one that I'm speaking about right now by the word of knowledge, it's time right now for you to say, yes, Lord, I want to receive my healing in my left foot, in my left knee, in my left thigh. It's the left leg that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me right now, the gangrene right there. I speak to you, the spirit of gangrene in the name of Jesus Christ, that you let go of that left foot right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That person has repented of their, their, their backstabbing, the repenter of the words that they speak behind people's back, the repenter of the reports, rumors that they're spreading in the name of Jesus Christ. And therefore, by the word of God, they be healed right now in Jesus' name. See, that's how it happens. Easy given, easily taken, easily received. Glory to the name of the word of God. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to his holy name. So Acts of the Apostles in chapter 14 and verse 2, the unbelieving Jews heard up the Gentiles and made their minds evil affected against their brethren. Long time, therefore abode they, who they? The apostles, Paul and Barnabas. Long time, therefore they stayed or abode with the disciples and speaking boldly in the name of the Lord and they gave testimony unto the word of his grace and God granted that signs and wonders be done through their hands. Look at verse 4. But the multitude of the city was divided and part held with the Jews, that's the unbelievers, and part of the city held with the uh, apostles. Verse 5. And when assault made both of the Gentiles and also of the Jews with their rulers to use them despitefully. <laughs> you that are using people despitefully. Hmm. There is a word for you. It's coming very closely. Just watch. You need to stop. Those that use people despitefully and to stone them. Look at verse 6. And they were aware of it. They were aware of it. And so they fled unto Lystra and Derbe, cities of Lyconia, and unto the regions that lies round about the place. Verse 7, and there they preached the gospel. Look at verse 8. And there sat a man, a certain man, the Bible calls him a certain man, at Lystra, important in his feet, being crippled from his mother's womb, who had never walked. The same heart, Paul speak, who steadfastly, mark that place in the Bible, who steadfastly, beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand upright on your feet. <laughs> it's a word of command. Stand up. Stand upright on your feet. And he leaped up and walked. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of the Lyconian, that the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. Isn't that true? Isn't that true that anywhere the power of the Lord is, the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, there is liberty, and also there is a power of the Lord to begin to operate like God operated. The Bible says in verse 9, the same heart Paul speak. Something is very important here. There is a way by which faith will enter into your heart. The Bible says, make it categorically clear, that faith comes or enters by the Word of God. Faith comes by the entrance of the Word of God. Faith comes by the entrance of the Word of God. When this man began to hear Paul speak, the Bible says, uh, 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 he heard Paul speak, and then he steadfastly beheld him, and Paul perceived that he had what? He had faith to be healed. Number one, uh, the benefits of steadfastness in your life. Steadfastness uh, brought them growth. Steadfastness in the Word of God, in what God wants them to do, brought them growth. Acts of the Apostles in chapter 13 
and 42 to 44. 42 to 44. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogues, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. Verse 43. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day came almost the whole city together to hear the word of the Lord. And when the unbelieving Jews saw this, they were thrown into fits, into envy. Steadfastness in the face of persecution will bring you growth. Number two, steadfastness brings results that cannot be argued with. In verse 45 of Acts chapter 13 and uh, verse 45, we see that but the Jews and the multitudes, they were filled with envy and they spoke against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming, blaspheming the name of the Holy Spirit. Third, steadfastness will bring you to persecution. Steadfastness brings persecution. In verse 50, we see there that both the Jews stirred up, verse 50, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verse 50, both but the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coasts. If you're, if you're a missionary or sent out one somewhere working in the name of the Lord and you're getting so much success and you are challenging the powers that be in your region and they want to expel you, you can now see right here that you are not the first one to be expelled. You are supposed to rejoice instead of your head casting down and feeling low and depressed. It may be that God is shutting that door to, to uh, divert you to somewhere of, of more importance or equally more importance of the need of the gospel being preached to them. So steadfastness will bring you, see what you need to do is not, is not hang down your head and hunch your shoulders and go defeated like that. You've got to be rejoicing in the name of the Lord. You've got to be rejoicing and full of faith and hope of the redirection of God for your life. So you've got to rejoice. You've got to be happy. Why? Because steadfastness, steadfastness will bring you serious persecution. Now, what is steadfastness? What is steadfastness? The Bible defines steadfastness in Romans in chapter 2. Turn there, if you will, please, to Romans in chapter 2 and verse 7 like this. To them who by patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath. Look at, look at the way the Bible, Paul the Apostle, the, the, the lawyer, look at the way he has defined steadfastness for us in Romans in chapter 2, verse 7. These are the ones who by patient, write that word down, patient continuance. See that word? Circle that word continuance. Patient continuance in well-doing. Even sometimes when well-doing seems like for a long time it's not paid off, it's the Word of God. The Bible says in Galatians in chapter 6 that be not be weary in well-doing, for in due season. See, God operates, I've said it all over and over and over again, God operates in seasons, not in human time or human timing. God operates in seasons of our lives. And I prophesy to you today that you are about right now in the month of March. You're about to step into a new season. There is a new season that I am, I am seeing in my spirit eyes, a season of healing, season of prosperity, season of increase, season of power, season of the anointing of God being, being unleashed over your life like never before, seasons that God will begin to turn the captivity around of His people and we will now begin to shout for joy like them that dream dreams like the Bible says in Psalms 126, 127. Seasons of great happiness, seasons of great gain, seasons of, of, of net bursting gains. We are about to enter in this month of March, we are about to enter into this new season. It is a season whereby people who have been patient and patiently continuing in well-doing 
and they seek in patience and in continuance in well-doing, they seek for the glory of God to shine. We don't seek for our glory, we seek for the glory of God. We don't seek for our benefits, we seek for the benefits of others. And it's in seeking for the benefit of God and glory of God and benefits of others that the glory of God shines upon our lives also. There ain't no way that, that there'll be a horse rider that will not gallop when he's riding the horse. There ain't no way that the, the, the little the little animal that Jesus rode up upon the upon the moon, he rode into Jerusalem that day, and 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 and, and there were clothes and rings and golden things and clothes were thrown down at the feet of Jesus. There is no way that that mule will not be trampling on those clothes. In essence, what I'm saying to you is, when the glory of the Lord comes down, the Bible says, every eye shall see it and every mouth shall speak of the glory of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord will cover the earth like waters cover the sea. And when the glory of the Lord covers the earth like waters covers the sea, guess what's happening? You also will be swimming in glory. You also will be laughing in glory. You also will be wedling in glory. You also will be, will be a partaker of the glory of God. Somebody say, ha, ah, you teaching something uh, heretical? That's not heresy. God will share his glory with you that have been faithful with him. The Bible says if we, if we stay close to him, if we suffer with him, Paul said to Timothy, he says we shall reign with him. We don't reign. Thank you for listening to today's broadcast. To become saved, follow the ABCD steps of salvation today. A. Accept your sinner. B. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. C. Confess Jesus as Lord and Savior over your life with your own mouth. And D. Depend on the power of the Holy Spirit to live the new life in Christ. Pray this short prayer with me. Heavenly Father, please forgive my sins today. Come into my heart and write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you prayed that prayer, we want to assure you that you're forgiven and have become a child of God. Write Reverend Sammy Joseph today. He would love to hear from you. May God richly bless you. Amen. Please take time to visit our website and order any of our books at harvestways.org. We deliver around the world. You may also support this ministry on the same website, harvestways.org, by clicking the Sow a Seed button. Connect with Reverend Sammy on Facebook and Twitter, searching for Sammy O. Joseph. This broadcast has been paid for by the Sammy Joseph Ministries. We thank you for your generous support.